Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. We are making a very quick and tasty chicken vegetable pasta dish today. The vegetables I'm using today is onion, broccoli, yellow, green and red peppers. I've got here one kilo of boneless chicken cut into small pieces. Also I'll be using tomato puree, white vinegar and dark soy sauce. And I've put on to boil here 500 grams of pasta. I'm using the small shells but you can use any type. Pasta is boiling with some salt and oil. We've freshly crushed some garlic and ginger. Four pieces of garlic and one inch piece of ginger. Here I've boiled and drained the pasta. Didn't boil it too much, it's still got a bit of a bite to it. So I've just drained that because I want it to cook further in the sauce. So in the pan I've put some oil, the garlic and ginger that we crushed and I'm going to add some tomato puree to this. After the garlic and ginger has cooked a little bit about two minutes and I'm adding in three tablespoons of tomato puree and frying this in this mixture. Also I've got here one tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper. You can use just normal powdered black pepper. When the tomato starts to stick to the bottom you can add the chicken to this and we will quickly just uh, stir this around I'm not going to overcook it need to be careful about this because if we cook this properly now when it cooks further with the pasta and the vegetables it's going to dry out so I'm going to just briefly cook this it's still going to be raw inside and I'm going to remove it now that I've removed the chicken into a separate bowl I'm just going to add a little bit more oil and stir fry the vegetables. I'm going to leave them undercooked as well. Both the chicken and the vegetables uh, were stir fried on a hot high flame. So I've done the chicken, I removed it whilst it was still raw and now I'm doing the vegetables on a high heat and all the, um, the tomato that was stuck at the bottom will all come away and it will go on to the vegetables so the pan won't be like burnt or anything at the bottom. After stir frying the vegetables for two minutes, I'm going to add the chicken back in. Also at this point I'm going to add in the pasta. Now the pasta wasn't soft when I removed it from uh, the water. Um, this is a big help because now when I stir it it's not going to break, it's still going to hold its shape and it's going to cook further with the chicken and the vegetables in this pot. So everything was undercooked and now it will cook together. To this I've added in two tablespoons of vinegar and two tablespoons of soy sauce. Also at this point you can check the salt and add in any salt and pepper that you need. I've also put in about half a glass of water so that it helps uh, everything to cook nicely. This will cook for about 10 minutes on a very low heat 
Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to make um, uh, a little sauce with corn flour just to thicken it up slightly. So it's two teaspoons of corn flour and one cup of water. I'm going to just mix this up so there's no lumps in there. And my pasta dish is ready. It's cooked, it's soft. It soaked up all the other juices that were in there. And this I've put in now, this one cup of um, corn flour mixture. And just stirred it quickly. And this is done now. After about a minute of cooking, it's done. This um, corn flour mixture just helps it to give it a glaze and thickens it up slightly, not too much, but slightly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do try this recipe. It's very nice and children do like it. Stay safe.